Happy Friday, Discovery News readers, and welcome to This Week in Discovery News. I'm Trace, and we sit down each week and highlight your angriest, your most insightful, and your funniest Facebook and Twitter comments. But before we do that, we're going to highlight the top five science stories that you need to check out this week. Alien planet could host life. Super Predator had enormous eyes on stalks. Top five real cosmic doomsday events of 2011. Hollywood's hottest new movie cars. Voyager probes give us E.T.'s view. Believe it or not, we read all of your comments that you post on Twitter and Facebook. And this week you posted some really good ones on some ethically malleable stories. The first one comes from a Michigan State University professor who designed a virtual reality experiment where you had to pick between saving one student and killing five or the reverse. It was a tough call for a lot of the students and your comments reflected your anger at some of the participants. Belinda said, I wouldn't touch the switch. Evolution in action. Whereas Marco said, if that person was fatter, slower, weaker, or not me, then yes. Otherwise, no. And some were just upset all around. Gangstalk said, Sounds like the kind of research fascists would fund to determine how to get people to do their bidding. Wise said, what if that one person knows the cure to cancer? Jubé said, what if the single person is a loved one? This is a philosophical dilemma that's been around for centuries, and it's supposed to get in your head. Next, a software program claims to be able to read our IMs, text messages, and emails, and the government might be using it to spy on us. This is the perfect story for the internet, and your comments were really interesting. Most agreed that it wasn't anything new, and they didn't really care. Adamaro said they already do. Alan thought they already did. A couple of people had different things to say. Jose quoted Ben Franklin. Those who can give up essential liberty to obtain a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Cosmic said if he were the government, he'd do the same. Refigured if we weren't doing anything wrong, it wouldn't matter, and anyone following her would be bored. Nicola suggested why not send emails to the White House with everything from when we got up, what we eat, to what we watch on TV. On a lighter note, but still an ethically gray one, scientists announced this week that they would be cloning a woolly mammoth. Jurassic Park references aside, you had some interesting things to say. Jan said, I'm going to need a herd, a moat, and crocodiles. G wants a woolly teacup mammoth. Karsten quoted Ian Malcolm. Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. Daryl asked if we could clone his grandma instead of a big hairy elephant because she was more useful and made great dumplings and apple pie. That's it for me this week. Make sure you like Discovery News on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Discovery underscore news, and subscribe to our awesome daily newsletter at Discovery News com. Keep your comments coming, you know we read them all, and check back next week to see if your comments made the cut.